सो है गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज कार्तिक एंड हियर आई एम गोना एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ एन एयर इनटेक रेस्ट्रिक्टर एंड हाउ इट इज यूज्ड इन एन कार मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इट विल बी यूज्ड इन एसएई और सुप्रा और फॉर्मूला रेसिंग कार्स सो हियर आई एम गोना जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज अ कांसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस एंड हाउ इट एक्चुअली वर्क्स सो फर्स्ट एक्चुअली व्हाट आई एम गोना डू इज दिस आई एम गोना शो यू So I'm just going to show you a small slide. It's a PPT which I made, and I'll actually link this PPT down. And anyone who's currently doing this project can take it as a reference and use it actually. So this is just for learning, and uh, I don't recommend anyone of you to just uh, cut copy paste this. So going on, I'm just going to explain you what an air intake restrictor is and how it actually serves the purpose of restricting the in, uh, you know, the air. and what happens with the engine power and the torque so here if you see you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see that this is the air intake restrictor a 3d model of this and in a moment i'll be showing you how to make this 3d model uh, and uh, i'll guide you how you can actually do this solid work analysis uh, flow simulation of the same to get a, a feel of what is actually going on so in this uh, video i'll just tell you how to go about doing this project and what are the basic you know the constraints and what are the goals that you have to find okay so here when you see the air intake restrictor over here is made up of three parts the restrictor itself this is the air box or the plenum here to here and the region p3 covers that is called the uh, runner so basically in my mo my project is made up of three uh, basic components and i'll explain you the need of each of these so when you see the restrictor is a part the main part which results in decrease in pressure the main reason why there is a decrease in pressure is due to this convergence <laughs> so the supra sai book rule book actually says that you have to use a restrictor of 20 mm they don't care like if it's 20 mm restrictor plate or if it is of any shape dimension or anything their only restriction the smallest dimension should be 20 mm so that is something you should keep in your mind so here i have made to show that the restrictor section is 20 mm make sure it is even less than 20 mm like 19.9 mm or something just to be sure okay so then you have to so yeah coming on to the concept actually air flows into this this is exposed to the atmosphere and this is connected to the engine inlet so air flows through here there is a air filter then it passes then it passes then it goes to the engine so what this does is that because of the small cross section the mass flow rate starts the mass flow rate is reduce significantly the maximum mass flow rate which is attainable because this restrictor starts choking the amount of air which passes inside and what actually happens is that there is a attainment of a supersonic flow or mach 1 is achieved when the mass flow rate is approximately around 0.073 kg per second the calculation to this is actually given in my ppt So now you get an idea of what the air intake restrictor does. It restricts the amount of air which passes through the engine, and this makes that, and this results in the engine receiving less amount of air. So that is mixed with, and less, you know, and less fuel is mixed, comparison to the maximum potential. This results in less torque and less power output. So a smart way to override this system. So place a supercharger or turbocharger over here because when you increase the pressure at the inlet or decrease the temperature, the mass flow rate increases. But Supra has clearly mentioned that you any system has to be kept only after it passes the air intake restrictor. So the only system is allowed is air filter. You can't place supercharger here. It has to be after this. So they are keen. So they are very keen in maintaining the maximum mass flow rate constant. They don't want you to. 
So next coming on to is the region P2. This is the air box. The air box is actually reservoir of air. This actually helps the engine to not get choked when it is running at very high, very high RPMs. The engine needs air. So this actually allows the engine to take in air as this acts as a reservoir of air storage. Next comes the runner. The runner is essentially uh, kept here in our experiment to show that there is a supercharging effect produced due to the runner. The main reason behind this lies in a rule called Pissard's rule. I have linked Pissard's rule paper in the description. You can go on and read it. So, Pissard's rule clearly states that the amount of uh, the length of the restrictor, the length of the restrictor uh, determines the supercharge effect produced. The reason is that you know when you start going at higher RPM, the inlet port closes and opens really quick. You know the rate at which it opens and closes is really quick because of the cam. The cam is like moving really fast, which is due to the engine. Engine, <coughs> the engine shaft act. That's the main shaft. It activates the cam shaft. When the cam shaft is like really fast, the inlet and the outlet ports are opening like really quick. So this results. What does this result in actually? So what does this result in actually? This actually causes uh, the air to like uh, enter really quick and uh, the port like closes really quick. Like it enters really quick and closes. So actually not all the air is let inside. Some of the air is left over here. So these this air actually tries to go back to the atmosphere but it's bounced back by the air which is already coming in due to the inlet pull. So this actually keeps on going. And at, and at a particular RPM, you know, depending on this length, there is like compressed air over here because you know, all this air is like coming in, all this air is like coming in, and it's when it's like just about to hit with all that momentum, the compressed air, the inlet opens and the air goes inside. What does this? So it like just comes in. And it goes in to the engine. So what happens here? So what does this cause? This actually results in a supercharge effect. Sorry for that. A supercharge effect. This is actually based on Wizard's rule. Really sorry for the shitty thing. Please go for So this is where I have mentioned like the mass flow rate. How does it affect? This is the formula for this. So and here you have the mass flow rate. So I've done, so I've done like a very deep research on this, and I've actually found out the converging and diverging angles when at 12 and 6 degrees have the least pressure loss. So this is what this is what you want. You want the pressure loss to be as minimum as possible. You don't want it to be like really high, and you want it to be like really low so that's your aim okay so now let's go on to the next one this is like the air box volume I'll link all this papers description down and you can actually find it in Google and it's not a big deal so here you know that the air box volume is the most efficient when it has when it is at 4 liters so this is the spot man this is the spot <coughs> this is where you gotta work your way so next, this is the Wizard's rule which I have told. So here I have given like a brief intro into how it actually works. What is the problem definition? So the variables over here are the converging and diverging angles, <coughs> geometry of the air box and the runner length. Only the only uh, you know the restriction is 20 mm diameter. So here our aim is to minimize the drop in pressure. What is the objective of the problem? We have several objectives which you have to go through. 
but the main is like you have to minimize the pressure drop which happens due to the air intake restrictor we also have choking of the engine at mid to high range due to uh, the same and uh, to aid air supply to engine at higher rpm so that's why we i mentioned before that we use the air box which serves at a which serves as a reservoir and there are several objectives at all first is design objective to find the converging and diverging angle air box volume and the runner length analysis objective this is where most of us really want to get better results pressure and velocity contours the finding pressure at various points and visualization of the streamlines using the visualization of flow uh, pressure flow and velocity flow visualization streamlines next is manufacturing objectives what are the manufacturing objectives finding the suitable method of manufacturing like is it cnc or is it sheet metal or whatever okay minimizing the cost of the project using the ideal pressure measuring device comparing analytical and practical results simulating the process methodology as you know is simple design manufacturing to analysis to testing here design of the air intake restrictor is done using solid works variables are like the converging and diverging angles what not so you could just read over this this is our design over here so this is part 1 part 2 and part 3 the sketch so you can use the same sketch if you want in air uh in the you know solid works you can just switch these values according to your desire what is required for your project like according to your design and what you could do is that you could just like of course you could just like uh, revolve this along this plane this line i'm sorry along this axis and you would get the shape of the air intake restrictor after which you can do an analysis which uh, i'll be going on through in my next video how to analyze so keep following it so manufacturing you know all this is in the description you can just go through it and how we actually did this so then the analysis what are the boundary conditions i'll be going through the analysis in detail in the next video so So if I get 10 likes on this video I'm just asking 10 likes I'm going to make the next video only if I get 10 likes otherwise I'm not going to make it Sorry for that <laughs> Let's go on This is the analysis what happened the calculation the result and the conclusion So thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll be linking like a how to do this coming up followed by this ppt so please hook it on